Hello and welcome back to the game between Hypernova and Anaral here on Theta. It's been pretty long. Hopefully uh, you've watched part one. This is part two. And Anaral, of course, just finished a fatty. So that should be pretty interesting. Both players at the Tech 3 stage has been a long standoff. A whole bunch of artillery. Tech 3 PD and a wall, of course, the Great Wall of Hypernova. And the both players quite a few opportunities, but now with this fatty. This does put uh, Hypernova in quite a bit of trouble. See some T2 shields being constructed by uh, Anril trying to get this uh, front position in better shape, but of course this uh, T2 artillery from Hypernova has been playing very well. Basically knocking this whole position down, but let's see if uh, the game can be turned. Basically a T3 spam, a whole bunch of Percy's all over the place for Anaral. And now here come the shots from the fatty. See a whole bunch of artillery here. It is targeting the the fatty here that's already with tank kills. Some of the artillery being taken out. But the shields uh, from Anaral that should be over the fatty not doing the job so a successful defense here from Hypernova although he did lose a few units in his own base Tech 3 PD uh, won't have too much trouble with these Percy's perhaps these Percy's should have attacked a little earlier before the fatty died but of course Anaral probably did not expect for this to happen to him so let's see what the next plan is just uh, keeps on making Percy's plan for Hypernova more uh, T2 artillery and you can see how effective this wall is if you can't get engineers here to disassemble it of course just shooting at it does work but so much firepower here for Hypernova these Percy's are strong but they slowly die we're leaving really nice mass chunks for Hypernova they're actually now inside Hypernova's base targeting some T3 mass extractors we see artillery shooting in but for the most part an unsuccessful attack by Anaral. More shields going up for Anaral. You can get a nice fire base here but it's very difficult to recover when Hypernova has so much firepower knocking down the shields. Of course this Tech 3 will help. And now the fatty started by uh, Anaral and a lot of build capacity. And now it's uh, switched to three T3 Arty from Percy's I don't know, just size Percy's turned into a whole bunch of nice wrecks for Hypernova. He's going to go with artillery, although his artillery is for the most part outgunned. Not very accurate, but it's very much an overkill here. Very lucky Artie with eight kills. Let's see if the second fatty for Arrow can do anything. It looks like an untied nuke now for Hypernova. It's got a single T3 power. That's a very expensive. That's 10,000 mass. That is uh, a little more than two T3 mass extractors. And looking at T3 mass extractors, we see one, two for Hypernova. He's down to four mass extractors. But of course, uh, these chunks of mass are going to be very nice for the Sparkies. Actually, this is just a regular one. But in this game, of course, Hypernova brought back the Sparky bit of attack with the uh, Riptides they run into the Perseus, Perseus take care of the Riptides but does force the uh, artillery from Anaral to stop shooting so very unusual uh, Theta here at the Tech 3 stage and another uh, Fatty has been completed here, minute 57 more Perseus perhaps just getting a whole bunch of shields for Anaral getting a better eco maybe something like uh, well, just a whole bunch of fatties works. But air has been completely abandoned by both players in this game. We did see a few bombers early on, but we do see now that Antony completed more artillery from uh, Hypernova, and he's going to need it. See the fatty? Actually, already uh, losing quite a bit of health on the shield. See the artillery targeting? Knocking down the shields. And the artillery very good against shields because it doesn't have to hit a really small spot and of course the fatty also quite large much easier to hit than some of the smaller units and 
nearly dead once again. Surprisingly, this fatty is not underneath the T3 shields. So, on a very strange choice from Admiral, this would be a much safer position. And uh, another nice uh, wreck for Admiral to reclaim. More T3 power now by Admiral. More Percy's. Whole bunch of Tech 1 air, a bunch of Tech 2 air as well. And bombing would be very nice against Hypernova. More Tech 3 mask extractors. More T2 power for Hypernova. Hypernova does not want to lose shields. Actually, neither player wants to lose shields to a power surge here. It would be absolutely devastating with this much artillery shooting back and forth. And actually, uh, yeah, one other air factory now with scouts. The scouts just continuously fly out and die. But they get to see what happens. And a huge lack of anti air. There is T2, this is well placed T2 anti air actually here to prevent any drops around the outside. So any drops would have to fly over this T2 flag and most likely die. Even a T3 uh, transport from UEF. More T3 shields for Hypernova. And this is basically a standoff. Although it's very impressive to see the T2 already. Rarely seen unit just knocking everything down. More fatties. It's a third, uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth fatties planned for Anril. Some wrecks here for uh, Anril. T3 mask extractor, so huge economy for Anril. Really inexcusable for him not to be winning this game. And now a nuke. This is very interesting from Hypernova. Very expensive unit. It's going to need more power. But this could win the game for him. This is a question fatties versus nukes. Nukes and a wall and a whole bunch of artillery. And the artillery definitely winning for Hypernova. Anaro losing the middle. It's very interesting. Perhaps a nuke isn't the best idea. Continuing to uh, do the artillery might be a better choice because then uh, Anaro will be better equipped to deal with his fatties. And nuke is basically an all in move from Hypernova. But of course, no anti nukes yet for Anaril. He should be scouting. It's going to be a question when does Anaril see that and get an anti nuke? So, neutralize the threat and just move in with the fatties. This time, perhaps more, more than just one. And keeping it under some T3 shields. All those T3, T3 shields are now dead. So, a bit of a lost opportunity there for Anaril. And no cruise missiles from uh, actually either player, which is very surprising. And this is uh, no man's land now. And of course, T2 already, T3 already mobile. It doesn't have nearly the range of the T2 stationary. So these T3 or J, they probably won't even get in range. And when they do, they're going to be shot at immediately. Second fatty started. Nuke is completed now, but looks like some power problems for Hypernova. Here, just after an hour, get another T3 power, yet another T3 shield. Actually, reclaiming that one, he needed the mass sparkies. And total domination in the artillery fight by Hypernova. And still no anti nuke for Anaril, so perhaps that all in that nuke from uh, Hypernova could end this game. This would be a great finish, really, a great comeback by Hypernova, but still a big if, still a long way to finish that nuke. And of course, these multiple fatties can put an end to. Uh, this is a very quickly built fatty by Anaril. So even two fatties would be very good against this base. Hypernova, no shields on the ACU, but forcing uh, Anaril back. Second fatty finished, an hour and six minutes. A whole bunch of dead units, nice wrecks. And this is surprisingly, wreck isn't picked up by Anaril. Third fatty being constructed now. Still no anti nuke and more artillery from the T3 factory. The nuke is now a quarter of the way done. And two fatties are moving in. This will be a very interesting finish here between Anaril and uh, Hypernova. Although they've been finishing for the last 40 minutes, so we'll see if this is actually the one. But two fatties at the same time. 
Uh, it's uh, very difficult to hold that. The shield's getting knocked down. T3 power is going to be lost. The nuke is halfway done. Will Hypernova survive? He's got to get some more shields. He's going to get some more T2 shields. T3 ACU gets those up pretty quick. This, all these T2 engines could be making shields as well. It looks like actually one of the fatties is going to be taken out. T2 already uh, continues to uh, impress. Third fatty nearly finished. But a nice retreat just in time. One more hit on this fatty it would have been over. The other fatty also in trouble. And uh, Hypernova staying alive. So you can see, oh yeah, this fatty is dead. So now it's once again down to two fatties. One of them badly hurt. More shields for Anarol. Surprising that these shields aren't helping the fatties out. It's a very different game than we usually see on Theta with Tech 1 units. This is all out artillery wars. More T2 shields by Hypernova. The nuke is uh, nearly complete. It uh, should be fired very soon. The nuke is complete by Hypernova, so there it goes. Will it hit the ACU? That's the question. It's such a short range. The ACU for Anaril escapes. But that was a big loss with all that T3 power. I don't know if that was the best choice. But the fatty's still putting a lot of pressure against Hypernova. And actually, it looks like the fatty is the better choice. The nuke is dead. The nuke launcher is dead. Only got to shoot once. And strategic bombers finally for Anaril. Taking the first part in the game. And very close there by Anaril. A little wrong turn and he would have been dead to the nuke. Hypernova desperately trying to stay alive but losing quite a bit of his uh, base. Getting hit by T2 Artie. Still has quite a bit of T3 already. Total overkill there. And fatties, just dead fatties everywhere. Only one left over, pretty low health and power problems. So Anaril did lose uh, all of his T3 power, so pretty good nuke. Hypernova is still alive. This is crazy. Still has his wall. And really nice big chunks of mass. And T3 power. He doesn't want to lose that T3 power. Another fatty moves in. Anaril really hasn't learned a lesson. I think it's been six, five or six. And actually, this time it looks like Hypernova does not see the fatty. Does not have radar or other problems. And uh, this could be very bad if that power goes. The power goes. Hypernova getting hit directly. And if only Hypernova had a way to scout. He does not have any air. Doesn't look like he has radar. And now Strat Bomber's coming in. Take out the last of the Artie. Hypernova getting hit. And then after 1 hour 14 uh, minutes, the game is over, but extremely close. Anaril runs away from a nuke. Hopefully people enjoy this one.